Hello, this is Amber Willenberg from the UofL Libraries, and in this video, we're going to talk about developing a search strategy and using that search strategy to find sources for your annotated bibliography. This research requires you to find six secondary sources from scholarly journals or books and assess these sources in your annotated bibliography. Before we get into finding sources, let's take a minute to strategize for our search. Why do we need to strategize? Because we'll be searching for scholarly journal articles and books through the library. The library is the best place to find these types of sources because they are expensive and your tuition dollars helps pay for the library to provide access to them. You might be used to searching on Google, which is a search engine that scans the entire internet for anything that matches your search, even information that isn't great. Unlike Google, the library pays for a collection of resources that are good for research for U of L students and faculty, so you won't have to deal with a lot of bad information clogging up your results. The sources you'll find for free through the library would probably cost you money if you found them on Google. Because the library is more specialized than Google, it's helpful to develop a strategy before we begin searching. Let's say that we've decided to research the question, how has social media affected political campaigning? If we were using Google to do our research, we could simply search for this exact question to get lots of results. When searching in the library, though, we'll search using keywords, the most important words from our research question. In this case, social media and political campaigning are the most important words from our question. We don't just want to stop there, though. It can be helpful to think about ways of broadening and narrowing this question with our keywords. Social media is very broad, so we could think of narrower terms like Facebook, Twitter, X, or Instagram. For political campaigning, we might think of related terms like elections, politics, or presidential campaigns. We could even add a keyword that would help us focus our question, like United States, if we're primarily interested in how social media has affected political campaigning in the US. Brainstorm as many keywords as you can. Having more keywords gives you more options for your search so you don't get overwhelmed or stuck when you start searching. Once you've developed your search strategy, you can begin using that strategy to find sources through the library. Let's get started on the library homepage, library.louisville.edu. If you're off campus, you can still use the library's resources. You'll just be prompted to log in with your ULink ID and password when accessing our resources. We'll start by using our search strategy to find scholarly articles. The best place to get started finding scholarly journal articles is our subject guides on the left side of the page under Quick Tools. These subject guides divide up library databases by subject area, making it easier for you to find the most relevant resources for your research topic. For our research question on social media and political campaigns, we might look at the political science subject guide or the communication subject guide. When we click on communication studies, we'll find a handful of the very best databases where we can search for sources in the field of communication. A database is simply a searchable collection of thousands of sources, many of them scholarly articles. A good starting point for any research question is the Any Topic Guide. We'll click on the first recommended database listed here, EBSCO Academic Search Complete. EBSCO Academic is a multidisciplinary database that covers a wide variety of subject areas. Most of you will be able to find sources for your research in this database, but feel free to search in other subject-specific databases as well. In EBSCO Academic, one of the first things you'll notice is that there are multiple search boxes at the top of the page. This is why we developed our search strategy with a list of keywords. We'll enter one keyword per box. So let's try some searches. First, we'll put social media in the first box and political campaigns in the second. This search gave us over a thousand results. We can go ahead and look through these results, or we can try narrowing our search with some of our other keywords. Let's change social media to Twitter, a narrower keyword. Let's also add United States as a third keyword, since a lot of our results are about other countries. We now have fewer than 200 results. 
Keep in mind that you'll probably try out several searches with different combinations of your keywords to get the most relevant results. Because you're required to use scholarly journal articles for this assignment, there's one more thing we need to do before we browse our results. Under the search box, we'll click the box that says peer reviewed. Scholarly journals are also called peer reviewed journals and clicking this limiter will get rid of news, magazines, and all the other sources that aren't scholarly journal articles. We now have under 100 results. At this point, you can begin looking through the articles to find sources that seem relevant to your research question. I'm going to go ahead and click on this article, Tweeting for Votes, How Candidates Utilize Twitter as a Campaign Tool. One thing to notice when you click on an article is the abstract. Always read the abstract because it will give you a quick overview of the whole article, helping you determine if it's useful for your research before you read the whole thing. Another helpful tool here is the Cite button. Click this to get the citation for the article. If you decide you want to save this article to read later, there are a couple of options you can choose from. First, look under the article title for access options. In this case, there is a PDF of the article available for you to view or download. Another option is to use the share button to email yourself the article or save it to your Google Drive or OneDrive. Let's take a look at one other article. Notice that there is no PDF. Instead, if you click on access options, you can see that you can check for full text. If you ever see this, just click that button to see if you can access the article. In this case, there is an option to view the full text, so you can click that to view the article. If you ever get to this page and it says there is no full text available, you can click request item through interlibrary loan to get a copy sent to you, usually within a few days. Library databases are the place to go when you want to find scholarly journal articles and other credible articles. If you want to find books, you'll use the search box at the top of the library homepage. Simply click the Books tab and enter your keywords. Keep in mind that books are typically broader than articles, so you'll probably want to search with broader keywords. I'll try Twitter and politics. This search gave us over 100 results for books held here at UofL on our topic. If you don't get a lot of relevant results, you can always broaden your search to libraries worldwide on the left side of the screen and request a book you want from another school. I'm going to click on this book, The Twitter Presidency. You'll find a summary of the book, the chapter titles under contents, and access options on the right so you can find out where the book is in the library. All you need to do is go get the book off the shelf and check it out using your Cardinal card. This has been a brief overview of using the library to find scholarly articles and books. If you ever have any questions while conducting research, librarians are here to help. On the library homepage, click Ask a Librarian to chat with us Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 and find more ways to get in contact with us. You can even schedule an in-person or virtual appointment with a librarian for in-depth research help. Thanks!